one of the brilliant ideas that won the competition is a U-shaped protective barrier stretching 12 kilometers around Lower Manhattan. It's called the Big U. The barrier is not a simple concrete wall. It takes on different forms to fit each neighborhood's needs. If you're in the east side of Manhattan, there's much more open space. And you say, maybe in this case, a levee makes much more sense. Uh, it's cheaper. Uh, it works with the park next to it. And so you start to look at all the menu of different options. And so it changes. The entire length is a combination of the best selected pieces of flood protection. In some spots, it will be an artificially created berm. There'll also be levees. In other areas, hills will be created to accentuate the topography and protect it. The flood protection needs to come up to a certain elevation, right? So you know that in 2050, if there's a storm like Sandy, it has to be 16 and a half feet above sea level. So if, even if it's a wall, if it's a gate, if it's a berm or a levee, it has to come up to 16 and a half feet. If you do that, you know that it's going to protect any of the water from coming into the city. The Big U's flagship project, a deployable wall to provide a barrier against waves. It will be attached here to the underside of the FDR, an elevated highway that runs along the East River. So imagine above this is the FDR, right? Technically, this works in a very simple way. When the storm is coming, say 24 hours before, someone comes along and they turn these down. What they would do is they'd have a, a motor attached to the, ba the base and it goes zzzz, and slowly this thing comes down. The wall, three meters high and two kilometers long, will swing down to block the water and prevent the waves from surging into the city. The rest of the time, the wall is flipped up so the ground space can be used recreationally. The ground is where people want to be, and having a wall in the middle of that would destroy their relationship to the water and the use of this, the space on the ground. So by having something that could actually flip up actually means that you keep the best part of the city while also making it fully functional. 